This is the unit conversion or dimensional analysis video for AP Physics. I just made a list of basic steps. Step number one is to start with the measurement that you're given. Step two is to draw the big fraction or dimensional analysis table. And then step three, you put the units in first so that they cancel. Number four, put in the numbers or measurements so that the conversion fractions equal one. And number five, solve the big fraction. You multiply across the top row and then multiply across the bottom row and divide those two numbers. So I'm going to start off the examples a little bit easier. The first question is how many dimes are in $10? I'm just going to fill in the unit. So dollars go in the top and the bottom so that they'll cancel. And then I want to end up with dimes so dimes will go in the top. I'm given $10. I'll so we'll write 10 over here and I need to know how many dimes are in $1. So $1 and there's 10 dimes in a dollar. Then the dollars will cancel. And then you just multiply straight across. So 10 times 10 over 1 equals 100 dimes. So the next question is how many seconds are in 24 hours? So I'm given the number of hours. So hours will go up here and down here so that they'll cancel. And now you can't go straight from seconds to hours, so you'll have to go seconds to minutes to hours. So minutes go up here and down here so that the minutes will cancel. And then I'll be left with seconds. So then I'll put in the number that I'm given, 24. And then how many minutes are in one hour? There's 60 minutes in one hour. And then how many seconds are in one minute? 60 seconds. So now my hours will cancel and my minutes will cancel. And then I just multiply straight across the top row and straight across the bottom row. So 24 times 60 times 60 divided by one. And that comes out to 86,400 seconds. I decided to use an example from the math packet that we got in class. The question is how many picoseconds are in one megasecond? You probably have never heard of picoseconds or megaseconds before, but that's okay because we're given the prefixes in the chart. These aren't all of them, the rest of them are in the chart in the packet. But you'll need to go from mega to base, which is in between the positive and negative numbers, and down to pico. So since I'm given megaseconds, that's what I start with. And it will also go down in the bottom here so that they'll cancel. Now, you can't go straight from mega to pico, just like you can go straight from seconds to hours. So you'll need to go from mega to base, and the base is seconds. So seconds will go up here and down here so they'll cancel. And then you'll want to go to picoseconds, so those will go up here. Now I write in the numbers that I'm given. We were given one megasecond. Now you need to know how many seconds are in one megasecond. Now instead of moving the decimal a bunch of times out of standard deviation, you can keep it in standard deviation by writing one times 10 to the six, because you're going from 10 to the six for mega down to 10 to the zero for base, which is seconds. So then there's one times 10 to the six seconds and one megasecond. Then you'll do the same thing for picoseconds. You wanna know how many seconds are in one picosecond. So then you'll go from base to pico, which is one times 10 to the negative 12. So my megaseconds cancel, my seconds cancel, and now I just multiply straight across. One times one times 10 to the six times one and divided by one times 10 to the negative 12. That is one times 10 to the six over one times 10 to the negative 12. And when you divide exponents, you subtract the exponents. So it'd be like doing six minus negative 12, which turns into six plus 12. So then your answer is 1 times 10 to the 18th picoseconds. I hope this was helpful and if you ever have any trouble, just always go back to the beginning of the video for the basic steps on how to do dimensional analysis.